I'm Congressman Andrew Clyde from Georgia's 9th District. I hear that this little pin I've been giving out on the House floor has been triggering some of my Democrat colleagues. Well, I give it out to remind people of the Second Amendment of the Constitution and how important it is in preserving our liberties. If I missed you on the House floor, please stop by my office in Cannon. I have plenty more to give out. Representative Clyde there uh, bragging about handing out AR-15 lapel pins. If you guys aren't old enough to remember back, uh, I think it was during the W's years, Republicans were pulling their hair out if someone was not wearing an American flag lapel pin. In fact, they were coming after Obama since he came in after him saying, where's this non-patriotic man and his lapel pins? Look how the tides have changed. Now apparently we worship AR-15s, not now, we're just now openly putting lapel pins on Congress folks to say so. No one knew before Clyde then made that video of who was passing these out, because there was pictures that were being taken of multiple Republican Congress folks that were on the floor with that pin on. One being, of course, George Santos. He's trying to revive his name with the most deplorable people possible. It probably will work, because who cares? Uh, so uh, as he was pointing that out, it turned out it was Clyde who Business Insider revealed last year owns Georgia's number four ranked firearms store. He was responsible for dishing out those pins. He even says he has plenty more to give out. Sounds like a business move. Should he be handing out lapel pins and promoting maybe his store on the house floor with lapel pins? I mean, I guess maybe someone who owns an ice cream shop can start handing out ice cream. Who cares? Hey, you guys, come to my ice cream shop. I don't know if that's the purpose or if it's just to be absolutely an a-hole and cruel. Cori Bush pointed this out. Here's the cruelty part. She said, while gun violence continues to be the leading cause of death for children in our country, Republican members are wearing assault rifle pins during Gun Violence Survivors Week. It's Gun Violence Survivors Week, and she called it shameful. They don't have any shame, they don't know what that word means. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Once they see an opportunity to be the biggest piece of garbage as possible, they're like, yeah, this is great. Hey, Gun Violence Survivors Week, let's go ahead and start wearing lapel pins and remind everyone, is what Clyde said, of our Second Amendment rights. That Second Amendment right that murders children on a daily basis and adults too that are innocent and walking through the grocery store, church, mosque, mall, who cares? Let's promote more of it because I'm a piece of garbage, I mean patriot. They're beginning to go hand in hand. Uh, other folks pointed something out more about uh, Andrew Clyde and how much of a coward patriot he really is. Remember on January 6th, he's the same guy who said, yo, the January 6th people went through was just like a normal tour through the Capitol. Does he look like he's very uh, happy about that? There he is on the right helping barricade doors because it was just a walk through the Capitol. Was he wearing his lapel pin then when people were running up saying they wanna murder folks and hang folks from the rooftops and things like that? Was a lapel pin necessary then? Did you need your second amendment right at that point, Clyde? To go shooting back at your supporters that you guys incited to this kind of violence. It's almost like none of it makes any sense. Uh, there's one more part about this though. How about some of these parents and families of these children that have been murdered as you talk about how great it is that they were murdered. Let's keep it real, it's what they're saying without saying it. It's gun violence survivors week. And let's talk about how they were all murdered and how we're happy about it and we want more of it. Here's one of those survivors, uh, who actually one of those parents of someone that didn't survive. He was just a very fun and energetic boy. Nikki and Brett Cross are still in disbelief after losing their 10 year old Yusaya Garcia in the elementary school massacre in Uvalde. This was his favorite color too, we love red. <laughs> to honor Uzziah, the Crosses made a memorial at home, built with some of his favorite things. Some that were returned by the school, the school like this water bottle with his name bearing the indelible markings of the last moments. I don't think we ever get out of the uh, feeling that this could just be a bad dream that we have. Mm. And that tomorrow I'm gonna wake up and it's not gonna be true. <laughs> Those are the people that uh, Representative Clyde, Andrew, uh, 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 George Santos and them are thumbing their nose at. And they're like, we're glad your son is dead. And in fact, we want more of it. That's exactly what they're saying. What's your thoughts, Ray? Yeah, I mean, you're exactly right. That's exactly what's happening here. And it's eerily reminiscent of what the NRA does after a mass shooting. I mean, I think one of the most egregious examples of it is at, right after Columbine, just a few days after Columbine, they held a rally. 
like 15 minutes from Columbine High School in support of gun rights. And it was it was obvious what they were doing. And it was obvious the intent behind it. And and it really is, you know, and they can say that they're just trying to protect gun ownership, but it is spitting in the face of the victims. It is spitting in the face of the, you know, parents who have lost children to the, you know, to the siblings who have, have lost their brother or sister. And, you know, uh, and when it comes to gun violence, of course, like you mentioned, that it's the leading cause of death of children in the United States. That's not nothing. That isn't nothing. And these are the, this is the party that cares so much about protecting the children, but they don't care about spitting in the face of the kids who died by wearing these pins on the floor of Congress, you know, during a time that is meant to be remembering those victims and the survivors of those types of attacks. It's just appalling. It's egregious. It's horrendous. And I mean, it, it, it is just so emblematic of what the Republican Party stands for. You know, they'll call themselves the pro life party, they'll call themselves the, the party that wants to protect children. And of course, that's just some deep seated hypocrisy. They don't, they don't give a damn about any of that. The, the part they care about is how to promote themselves based off it. The party platform is uh, cruelty and hatred. That's the whole point. The worse you are, they assume the more votes you'll get. Hopefully that'll end at some point soon.